All right, so here we are. Okay, so if you're following this chapter along or you looked at the other lessons, hopefully you're noticing a pattern. We started off with angles, which were two-sided. We went on to triangles, which are three-sided. And now we're on to quadrilaterals, which, guess what? Four-sided shapes. And if you follow along, you realize the first thing we're going to do is talk about vocabulary, and then we're going to talk about how we use these kinds of shapes to be able to find unknown quantities. So, let's talk about a polygon. A polygon is a closed shape with at least three straight sides. Can you pick the one that's not a polygon? You're right. It doesn't have straight sides. Okay? All right. So, now, a quadrilateral is a type of polygon. So what is a quadrilateral? It's any four-sided polygon, so it has to have only four sides. Notice a few different kinds of quadrilaterals. Notice they're all closed, they all have four sides, and they all have straight sides. So can we classify these any further? You bet we can. First one I'm going to talk to you about is a trapezoid. Now a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has exactly one pair of parallel sides, and they look like this. All right, do you notice that this side and this side are parallel? And do you notice that this side and this side are parallel? The other sides aren't parallel, but all I need is exactly one pair of parallel sides. That's a trapezoid. What's a kite? Well, a kite looks a lot like a kite unless, of course, you've made it into a dragon or something. Um, a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent adjacent sides. Opposite sides are not congruent. Now, that's a mouthful, but let's take a look at the picture. Notice, this side and this side are congruent, and they are adjacent. Okay? They share a vertex, so these are right next to each other. Now, think about these. These are congruent and they are adjacent. But opposite sides, this side and this side, are not congruent. Notice they're not congruent. And you notice how it does look like a kite that flies up in the sky. All right, so what's a parallelogram? Parallelogram is a quadrilateral where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Huh, notice what a parallelogram looks like. And you may be saying, hey, that's a rectangle, and that's a square. You're right. Rectangles and squares are parallelograms. This is the one that we usually think about. And just think, parallel to here and parallel to here. So notice, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. A trapezoid, only one side is parallel. Yet with a parallelogram, both are. So what's a rhombus? It's a parallelogram that has four congruent sides. So, parallelogram, both sides are opposite, and all sides are the same length. You might say, hey, this is a diamond. You're right, it is a diamond, just like in baseball. But, parallel, 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 and all sides are equal. What's a rectangle? It's a parallelogram that has nothing but 90 degree angles. Notice. This is a perfect right angle, right angle, right angle, right angle. And a square is also a rectangle. And finally, what's a square? Well, a square is where a rhombus and a rectangle come together. It's a parallelogram that has all four 90 degree angles like a rectangle and all four congruent sides like a rhombus. So it's a very, very specific shape. Maybe that's why we like it so much. All right, let's take a look. How do we put these together? We started off with quadrilaterals. They're four-sided polygons or four-sided shapes. They break into three different types. One, you've got the kite. Two, you've got the trapezoids. And you've got the parallelograms over here. And remember, there are lots of kinds of parallelograms. Parallelograms break into two sections. The rectangles, where we have four, we have four, right, four right angle sides. Notice, these are still parallelograms. They're just very special kinds of parallelograms. And what's the most special parallelogram of them all? It's when we bring the rhombuses and the squares together. It means four equal sides and four right triangles. Now, this is also in your book, so definitely make sure to take a look at it. But if you like this one better, feel free to use it. 
All right, so now we have to classify. So if I put these little lines here, it means they all these sides are the same length. So it's a parallelogram. All sides are parallel and all sides are equal. But I don't have all 40 degree angles. So it's quadrilateral. It's a parallelogram. And did you know it was a rhombus? Here we go. And just so you know, these little arrow thingies, that shows that um, lines are parallel to each other. All right, so it's quadrilateral. What kind of quadrilateral? It has one set of parallel sides. You're right, it's trapezoid. You try. It's quadrilateral. It's parallelogram. What kind of parallelogram? It's a rectangle. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about angles now. What is the sum of the interior angle measures of a quadrilateral? Well, let's think about that. What if I drew a line right across the center? What two shapes did I just make here? One, two. Triangles, right? And a triangle is how many degrees? 180. So 180 plus 180 is 360. And that means that all quadrilaterals have a sum of 360 degrees. All four angles add up to 360. Remember a straight angle? Added up to 180. Remember a triangle? Uh, three angles added up to 180. Now four angles add up to 360. So what if I gave you this? Once again, we use a formula. All four angles add up to 360. Add them all together and do your algebra. The missing angle was 100. Why don't you try this one? Did you get it? This one? Did you remember that this was 90? Nice. Add them together, subtract 295, and you get your answer. All right. Um, if you guys got any questions, make sure to ask your teachers, but uh, I hope that helped.